Shall we play? Quack. How are we doing, folks? I'm just stirring my tea. Don't know how my voice will go this morning. I've just come back from holidays. The other half's coughing up a lung. So, and I'm not feeling that great myself, so we'll see how we go, won't we? Anyway, we're going to look at some TS Pro stuff today. And I'm sitting here teed up with... Ooh, that's loud in my ears. Uh, I'll just burst my eardrums. How's the volume for you guys? Hopefully it's okay. Um, anyway, we're teed up with BMG's schools class initially on Riviera in the 50s. This is the world's slipperiest locomotive. And this poor bloke, right on the day of his release, out comes the patch for Train Sim Classic and breaks his brand new locomotive. So I couldn't show it then. So we'll show it now. It's kind of cool. I like it. It does have the usual TSC sight glass error, and I wish one day... There's one locomotive that gets this right, I have to say. Only one that I've found. This is a refractive gauge glass. And a refractive gauge glass means that the line refracts when it goes through the water. Well, apparently the locomotive is on assist level one. Whatever. Um, the diagonal line should go the other way when it's behind the water. Whee! Anyway, I'll stop whinging. What we're looking at is the world's slipperiest locomotive. So it's a 4-4. Four, four. And then there's a tender with the three in the back. So, judging by that signal, oh, I didn't bother loading up passengers. We should probably do that. Now we're going to be late. That's okay. There aren't any. That's also okay. Anyway, we're at Exeter. And we're going somewhere. Torbay, apparently. What I did, um, I don't have the home route for the schools class, whatever it is. But... Um, what I did is I just grabbed TS Tools and I chucked it on another scenario that's on an age-appropriate route, which is Riviera in the 50s, and that's where we are. So we're running the Torbay Express with the schools, and it's not really up to the challenge, I have to say. All right, doors are closed. Now, this one's a bit of a pain in the bum, and you have to hold the E key to undo this clip so you can move the reverser. So reverse is now all the way forwards. Uh, cylinder cocks, I hope, are now open. Vacuum brake and a small ejector, which we want all the way open. Brakes would appear to actually be off, which is good. And you want to watch it slip. Well, it's probably going to. Let's give it a crack. Volume's good for people. Oops, finally starting to believe the rail driver. Now, something I've noticed since the patch is the throttle is very laggy in Train Sim Classic now. Second tip. It's only got a very long whistle, which is kind of sad. You know, it's not going to slip. You want me to make it slip, don't you? All right, then, here we go. There it goes. Slippy, 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 slippy. Fireman's going, what are you doing, you cretinous driver git? I'm going to beat you over the back of the head. It's at that point that the fireman lifts the shovel and goes, clonk. All right, let's get it moving again a little bit more legitimately. I love the fact that you can do 100% forward on the reverser. It's um, strange. But that's okay. Off we go. CCT says, with the schools, he's found if he sands before departure, it reduces the amount of slipping he gets. I might know a certain examining driver who makes sure he's on the day before someone's doing an exam and liberally sands the entire railway to say it. All right, let's head for Newton Abbott. Very pleased to say the four camera has been fixed. Yay. And there's a patch come out a day ago that should fix most things. I have seen a, a couple of trains that still don't work. I think the TGV might be one of them actually. The 
Mr. Mayhem. I think it's Pantograph's stay down. So it'll run, but its pantos are down. The schools is doing remarkably well with the Express. It's accelerating a bit slowly, but that's okay. I'm only giving it 50% throttle. <laughs> I am running on auto fireman, I think. So if it's uh, if it runs out of water, it's not my fault. Just say it. Because I think it's running auto firing, but I can't actually remember. So I'm just ignoring it. Because, and there's a reason I don't try and fire in the game. It's because having some real firing experience has totally ruined the game for me. Because the way you fire in the game is just complete and total bullshit. And now that I know how you're really meant to do it, it just ruins the experience. But that's okay. Bye bye, no train for you today. Ah, catching up with the chat. Yes, we had a slip Rolleston Rail. So I need a slip command, don't I? Puffing Billy is 1 in 30. Uh, there are some areas of 1 in 40 on the gradient we shunt on, where we store our carriages. But that's fine. Look at that, we're accidentally doing the speed limit. Oh, ah. How lucky is that? My firing is progressing well, Mitch. I'm hoping to be assessed in July. I'm going out on a run with the uh, the same assessing gentleman. And on my last couple of runs, they've just let me to it. And on the uh, next run, expecting the same. I've been told the next run I'll get feedback as though I was being examined. I eat none. At all. <laughs> and then the run after that, assuming I do okay on the next run, should be my exam. I do like Riviera in the 50s. Even this bit that's not by the seaside is kind of nice. And why am I only going at half throttle, do you ask, when it's 75 mile an hour limit? Well, this is more fun. They, yes, there are 440s in the UK. I don't know if there still are, but there used to be. I don't know how many of these got preserved. Um, Michael Newbury says there are f at least four routes that do not work. If you wouldn't, if you know what they are, Michael, if you list them out, I'll make sure they're aware of them. Because I know about a couple, but uh, if there's more, that would be handy. I'll make sure they know. NJT, hello, good sir, how are you? bit of top gear you reckon you know 100% forward yes Rolleston Rails what's it like firing on the Garrett it's like feeding a dragon if you stop it eats you <laughs> um, I last went out with Lindsay who actually is a or was a, an SAR South African Railways fireman in real life and he showed me how you would really have to fire it if you had 700 tons on the back. And um, I fired his method up Emerald Bank and I feel sorry for our neighbours because, man, we smoked them out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. It's uh, quite energising because on when you if you do a full round on the NA, it's nine shovels. And it's nine shovels and about... Two and a half, three kilos of coal per shovel. The shovel probably weighs as much as the coal, if not more. Um, on the Garrett, a round is 10 to 15. So, it, and full shovels, like five to, five to seven kilos on each shovel. Because it's a big hungry, big hungry girl. Just loves to eat it up. And the NAs, like a grey haze. If you've got a grey haze, your fire's going well and it's hot and it's burning well and you've got no holes and the NA will be very happy. On the Garrett, if you've got a grey haze, your steam pressure's heading for zero fast. You need to keep that thing black. It likes to be black. It likes to be burning the carbon all the time. A bit like this one. This one's clearly liking the black. That's what the Garrett smoke needs to look like or you lose steam pressure. 
Hello Metra. Thank you for joining in. Rolleston Rails wants me to give it the beans. Alright, let's give it a bit more. How's the steam pressure coaching actually? I haven't been in here to look. Uh, we are at only 140. That does actually make me wonder if Mr. Fireman's actually firing. Water level looks okay, so it must be doing something. Lubricator's working. That's the kind of thing you see on a pro-level engine, is you actually see the oils dribbling out of your lubricator, which is nice to see. We've only got 140 pounds in the boiler, which does actually make me wonder if the fireman's doing his job at the moment. But, you know, clearly the water level's okay. Let's just switch off this hard and switch off this one for a bit. Uh, no, he's making plenty of steam, which is usually more than he's making. That's fine. He'll survive the experience. We're only going to take this to Newton Abbott anyway. And hopefully it'll, it'll not run out of steam before Newton Abbott. that'll be fine. It's basic. I'm not going to do a full run on any of these routes because it would take too long. I might do a full run on the last one. We'll see. Hello, Ryan King. How are you? Rolleston says maybe what it was like on an NZR Garrett. Yeah, the NZR Garrett's very similar. Still a Manchester Garrett, I believe. So uh, quite a lot of work. Trains, kits, etc. says there are two or three schools preserved. Also T9 and another LSWR outside cylinder 440. That's really good. And a few Scottish ones left as well. There's some preserved in the Netherlands. Yeah, the UK are a little bit better at preserving their stuff than we are. We tend to chuck it in a museum down by the sea and watch it turn to rust. And then we stop people climbing on them because if you touch them, they won't be a pile of rust covered in paint anymore. They'll just be a pile of paint and you can't stand on a pile of paint. in Tasmania this week, down in the only city in, in the Tasmania that has no trains at all. Hobart. Saw our Severfall flip up in the back there. The uh, driver and fireman's teapot sitting on the hob, keeping hot. Crap place to cook your lunch. Still sitting on 140, so it's holding. I've only got 80 pounds in the steam chairs. 90 pounds of steam pairs, so I'm not using all the steam it's making. It's the Charlie Brown sign! No idea what it means, it just is. Got a couple of little country gates up here. Fourteen miles to Newton Abbott. Rolleston Rail says black smoke equals good and awesome photos. Indeed, that's true. Rolleston Rail said NZTS TWS has it better. I assume you mean the gauge glass. The gauge glass is kind of nice on the KB, I have to admit. It's kind of cool. CCT Mitch says he hasn't had a go on 129 yet, trying to get the NAs. Yeah, I, I'm actually booked only on NAs, but um, 12 was not available, so I ended up on the Garrett. Which was kind of funny, because I wandered out of the Hilton in a daze, as you do, because, you know, it's pretty early in the morning. And I've looked on the board, and I've gone, 129. And I've walked down to the NA in the back of the shed, because I'm used to walking down to the NA in the back of the shed, and I've put my bag on it, and then I've gone, 129. Fuck at me, I've got the big one. Oh well. Michael Newbury says the Montana Highline, Stevens Pass, VNHR, Springfield, and three can name off the top of our head. Yeah, okay, thank you, Michael. I will uh, pop those aside. There we go, I've just uh, saved that list. 
Rolleston Rails wants to see a heavy KV coal drag with the booster. Ooh. You kind of have to practice with the booster a little bit. What I've got is that I'm going to run the uh, rail fan, the version of it that I fixed, not the version that comes with the route, because I made my own version. Just clean the wheels for a bit there, as you do. Running along the uh, the river. It's amazing what we put up with in terms of a lack of scenery, isn't it? People see in, in Trainsim World now, and it's got lots of magic scenery, and people go, oh, it's so bare. But look at this, look what we used to put up with. Anyway. Oh, how about that CCT mix? Thank you very much. Rolleston Wild Rails wants me to put the regulator on the ceiling. All right, just for you. There you go, it's on the roof. And it's flinging out the fire now. And the fireman's going, oh. I'm going to get a shovel in the back of the head soon. You realise what my steam pressure is? Look, 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 look what's happening now. I'm using so much steam that my speed's actually going down on a flat. So now we've done it, because now I've used all the steam that they're using. Oh no, still at 140. Oh, my reverse has gone to zero. That's interesting. Look at how that happened. Ooh, freight. Mr. Freight. Whee. Who didn't have one of those on their first train set? Starting to run along the sea wall now, or is it a river wall? Hmm. Ryan King says he set up his new amateur radio station today. That's cool, I know a few amateur radio bots. Sit there and chat with each other inanely over the, over the airwaves. Constantly. They're kind of like streamers, they just talk shit forever. <laughs> a pop. Excellent. You're very useful, mate. said you can give a long whistle and a pop for the platform. Yeah, I hadn't looked at the school's manual, I'm afraid. I had grand plans of having all this stuff that I'd have ready for today, but uh, it didn't really pan out that well because, well, I went on holidays, which meant that I had, yesterday I had to spend the entire day getting lots of content ready for release tomorrow. Because after um, asking and asking and asking and asking and asking, the ambassadors are allowed to push it out a day early now. Yes. Thank you, DK. So you'll see a huge pile of glossop coming out from all the ambassador channels. People like myself and British Ace and Hentus and Dad Rail and Megasim will all be pumping out Glossop content like crazy. And I'll be streaming Glossop tomorrow night at 7 pm Australian Eastern Standard Time so you get to see what it's all about. Ah, catching up, catching up. Lubricator. You always need to be hot and oily, don't you? bit of reflective pond. Can we get a train in the reflective pond? Yes we can. Ooh, bridge, 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 bridge. But you'll just bridge up. Must be done. You know me. Oh, it's kind of nice, doesn't it? And the whole bridge reflects. How good's that? Oh, actually, no, this bit doesn't. Eh. Most of the bridge reflects. Pedestrian crossing down to the beach. So this is something I'd love to see on train simulators. Why aren't there any people on the beach? It's the same in train sim world. There's never any people on the beach. I did hear Matt once say that it was to maintain their E for everyone, but you know, people in bathers is normal. 
It's not sexualized. You'll keep your E for everyone with people in bathers on the beach. Uh, so, there's my rant over with. Trains Kitchen Tetra said there's one of those funky looking 440s from New South Wales. It's still working, isn't there? The one with the very angled cylinders. Oh, yeah, I do know that one. Yeah, the Z Class. I had a model of the Z Class. I was building one for ages and ages and ages. The whole thing was made out of nickel silver. And I don't know if you've ever tried to solder nickel silver, but man, that shit just does not, does not want to stick to itself. It really doesn't. Rolleston says the closest thing we had to a 440 was the Rogers 242. Ah, uh, yes, our... Uh, Stefan likes to tell me about the Rogers all the time. We have chats on a side channel. I think he kind of misses the Rogers. Rolleston says, do you think you'll go to Zigzag Railway? Oh, I'm sure I will, now that it's open again. I was very sad when they got burnt out because they'd only just got going again. I don't know if you heard, but it, at one point they had a, a massive problem. I won't go into details, but you can go and look up the investigation on the... Uh, on the website if you wish they had a, a massive problem and it just about killed them and they were just getting going again and this massive bushfire comes through and wipes them out almost completely and I'm so happy to see them running again it's taken a lot of years a lot of very hard work by the people on that railway but they're back and running great to see so yes my next trip up that way head up to Mithgo very important to go and support them. The other thing I'll probably do next time in Sydney is uh, drop into Loftus again. Last time I went to Loftus was about two weeks before their auxiliary tram shed got burnt down by some vandals. I like listening to the air traffic control frequencies, Ryan. It's uh, good fun. There's nothing quite like shirty pilots who are mad at air traffic controllers. Because the air traffic controllers have the ultimate position. Hey look, you can whistle all the whistles at the same time. How annoying is that? When I'm running American routes, I usually have the uh, website that gives you the frequencies for all of the, the rail networks in the US. And you can listen to them with VLC because there's happy little amateur radio people like Ryan who um, receive and broadcast them on the internet. Is it Narrowcast? It's probably Narrowcast when you put it on the internet, isn't it? Since you're um, targeting your output to people who are listening. Should we stop at the pub? I think this is the station with the pub. I've got my big ejector open, that's why it's going up so slowly, but that's fine. Now, is this the station with the pub? That's the question. I'm not actually sure. But we'll have a look. I think it might be. Let's go look while our train's crawling along. It is Dawlish. But we won't stop.
Hello, Dave Randall. I was thinking about stopping at Dawlish and going to the pub. Welcome to Dawlish. It's pretty cool the way this is set up. Got the little gardens. Little waterfalls on, uh, is it a river or canal? I'm not sure. Could be either. And a flashing light. Whee! You shouldn't zoom in on that low resolution thing. And interestingly, look at this one. All the shops are actually on the right level. They're not sunk into the ground like they usually are. Which is quite nice. Better get back in the cab because we're about to go into the tunnel. What's that I see? How about that? A human in bathers. I've never actually seen her on the route before. There you go. Dark. Oh, that's right, the tunnel. Ah, what else have we got in the chat? There's a Z at Thermil, yes. There's a few sex classes. Metra says he's going to do a service with the SD70 ACE on the home pass while watching the stream. You can turn on the bell before sounding the horn if you want to. Hello? Do whatever makes you happy. This thing's interacting quite nicely with the tunnel roof in here. Unlike what happens with a certain other game, but we won't go there. More tunnels. Ryan wants to get a HF transceiver. I can't talk about an HF transceiver because I clearly don't have one because I don't have a license. Yeah, I was sorry that, to see that Brunel went online only. It's a good shot. I like those guys. But I tend to buy my um, fluxes and things from industrial suppliers. But yes, the right flux is very important, as is cleaning it with the right acid, so that you are clean it rather than destroy it. There's another train in the tunnel. That's kind of cool. Sounds like the school's class is finally getting some decent speed. It's pretty we're near the end of the run now. Dave says it's a great fudge shop at Dawlish. Excellent. Rollison asks if I've heard of the sinking of HMS Sydney. No, I haven't. CCT Mitch says he's trying to find an HON30 NA in stock, but I can't seem to find any rolling stock to go with. Uh, there is rolling stock available. There's Ian Lindsay models, has some kits, and I think Brunel makes some NQRs too. And maybe an NC van. But yeah, it can be a little bit hard to find stock because they have to do a run. But the Ian Lindsay stuff you'll find second hand quite readily. It's all over the place. There's some in the shelf behind me. I've got two NQRs, I've got one NBH. I think I've got the sides for another NBH somewhere, a laser cut NBH. I don't know who made that one. And I've got um, an NB, I've got an NC, I've got the powder wagon, I have got two of the white bands, I've got two NUs. I don't have a moo wagon, I'd love to find a moo wagon, I know they existed, people did make them.
Crane's kits, etc. says, grab the tape measure, I have a 3D printer. Yes, that would help. They've come a long way since I first looked at them and the horrible brainy things. If you wouldn't do anything, it's fine as model work, but now you can do some amazing stuff with them. You really don't want to open the fire hole door in a tunnel, Robleston Rails. The other time you don't want to open the fire hole door is when the engine cleaner cretins open up the smoke box at the end of the day. I did have my beloved engine cleaners. Now granted it was a new guy, he didn't know. So, you know, nothing on him, but no one had ever told him to not open the firebox door without asking the fireman first. I did actually have the firebox door open at the time that he opened up the smoke box. Got a face full of shit. I know Ian Lindsay's out of business, Mitch, but there's a lot of his stuff around. Heaps of it. Let's keep an eye out. I'll run the KB next. We finish this one. So I'll run it for you, Rolleston. Oh, yes, I am talking about ON30 CCT, Mitch. I actually, uh, you're doing HON30. Uh, have I still got that stuff? I don't know. It might still be in my shed in Emerald. I've actually got some HON30 stuff. I think I've got. Might have a couple of NQRs. I think I've got some die casting QRs. Remind me to have a look, Mitch. Allison wants me to get rid of all the steam. All right, there you go. We're on the roof again. And she's decelerating again because it's sucking too much air through the fire and it's making it cold. So we'll go back where we were. It's one of the things you learn firing is that having the firebox door open does horrible things to your steam pressure. Although it's interesting because in the world of firing where you've got 50 firemen and 5,000 different opinions, I have found people that want open shovel slam, open shovel slam, open shovel slam, and I've found, I've been out with other people that just quite casually bung in, open the door, bung in three, shut the door. And to be honest with you, it doesn't seem to make that much difference with the steam pressure, as long as you're still pretty snappy about it. Hello, Anthony Trains 4472. Something tells me you like the Flying Scots. Trains, kits, etc. says a face full of is why the toilet's dropping at the bottom of the train got abandoned. Amtrak, poor guy fishing under a bridge got rained on. Uh, that's a pretty common story. All railways used to have dunnies that just dumped on the ground and a, a lot of our uh, heritage stock still does. So we're almost at the end of this run because we're stopping at Newton Abbott. We're not going to go any, any further, even if the thing goes further. I don't really care. We're just going to pull up there and stop and we're going to go over to the Midland 9 in New Zealand and run the KB. What happens if I do that? There's nothing coupled there. Can you uncouple this thing? Well, I can. But this is BMG Schools class. It finally works now that uh, Trainsim Classic has been fixed. I am supportive of all the changes they're doing because um, if you're not aware, and I'm not talking out of school here, this stuff is basically public knowledge, if they didn't actually do the changes that they're making, in February this next year, the game would have stopped working because Windows wouldn't have allowed it to run because it's running on such an old C++ library that it's, Windows simply would have said no you can't run that library anymore. 
So the work they're doing to bring it up to date for the current compiler set and bring it up to date with the current C++ language and libraries, very, very important. And it's inevitable that these changes are going to break stuff, so be patient with them. Hello, Tinkerbell Vlog, how are you? I was uh, watching your Hong Kong stream after, after it was live. It's quite interesting. See the trams? Weird double-decker things you've got there. Yeah, I could imagine trains, kits, etc. It's, it's not a gift that anyone's really going to want, is it? I think it's time to start slowing down and stopping for Newton Abbott. Some nice-looking freight over there. One thing I do like about TSC is the variety of stuff you get. having a lot of effect there for a while. And they gripped all at once. That would spice up the trestle bridge just a little, weeing over the top. CCT Mitch says a rule of thumb for every one second door you lose 1.5 psi pressure. I don't know about that Mitch. Because I have seen people quite casually whack bung the door open, shovel shovel shovel, I think it really highly depends on the quality and heat that's in your fire. So at the beginning of your firing journey like we are, your fire is not going to be the most amazing thing in the world. So for us, yes, it has a big impact. But I have seen seasoned firing people that I've been out on runs with. And it doesn't seem to make any difference at all to them. I've even seen a bloke use the pricker on the move when he didn't lose any pressure. Alrighty, welcome to Newton Abbott. So what have we learnt today? We've learnt that the school's class can move without slipping. I know British Ace had a lot of problems with it slipping because he was just being a little generous on the throttle. You need to take it easy on this locomotive. It does look nice. It does drive quite well. It's a weird locomotive. It's a strange combination to only have two sets of driving wheels. So it's a little bit weird. Everything I drive's got either three or six. So it's all fun. Hmm. Anyway, that's got a green signal, but we're not going there because we are going to go off to quit. It always seems wrong to say quit. We're going to go off to Midland and hope that this thing keeps working. And we want the KB, and we want fixed rail fans go west, that one. This is not the one that came out with the route. I did start with um, the one that came out. It was a very early one, and I hacked it. So he's hoping it still works, because I haven't actually tried this. Oh yes, the centenary bundles. There are now four centenary bundles out. They're not cheap, but you get a lot of stuff. So if you haven't got that stuff... Good morning, driver! And I'm going to put this in rail driver mode. Alright. Get a reverse and forward. Now, okay, that's throttle. Good. I'm just trying to figure out drifting valve and things like that, because I'm going to need them. So, welcome to the KB. It's a pretty thing. Not really. It's kind of ugly. But it's very functional. And it's got two massive air pumps, which I like. Alright. Let's just get the brakes into running. There we go. Wait while that pumps up. Cylinder cocks open. Reverses as far as we can get it without doing that, and then we can get the reverse forward. Not that we really need to with um, this. 
and let's open our lubricator. Quite plain, you'll move soon. Now, one thing I have noticed in the patched version is the steamers struggle to move when the cylinder cocks are open. Some of them are okay, or the KB is not too bad. But lots of them really, really struggling. How long are you in Hong Kong for, Tinkerbell? I kind of thought you were in the Philippines, but clearly moved for a while. I'll just ignore this red signal up here. Because I always do, and nothing seems bad seems to happen. So you're supposed to stop here. But I never do. I just keep going. Now I'm supposed to go and connect to my train, which is down here somewhere. Hopefully the route's set properly, because if it's not, this will be a short trip. A little bit of spirited running in the yard. Hope we don't crash into the back of anything. Oh, that's right. It's the one with these horrible wooden carriages, isn't it? And I think I have to go and get them out from over here. hurriedly did some slowing down because I just realised I'm approaching the back of the train. I'm just going to check these tracks. We are set to go into there. Good. And our task is to pick up those. So, good. Now, these rail cars like misbehaving. They like jumping off the track when you run into them. So, we'll see what happens. Stefan! Hello! Did you feel a tremor in the force, young Stefan? Well, your logo is actually working. I got the JA working too, by the way. And we've got those really annoying wooden cars. I'm going to approach these rather gently. Blonk. There we go. And I should be able to get in there and couple these. Hopefully. Oh, where's your coupler? Are you going to do it? I'm not going to do it. Let's try this way. No, you're not going to do it, are you? Do it from here. Yeah, let's try and push on a bit harder. Push against the brakes. No, you're not going to let me do it, are you? Back off and come on again and we'll see what happens. Let's do it now. Yay! Stick them on the rear of our train. Step, reverse back to the depot to the marked reversing point on the triangle. Hate that triangle. The multiple whistles of the KB. Off you go, Mr. KB. I'm going to hang around here for the points. Metro says yay, apparently. There will be more updates coming, a lot of them, so be prepared. Now 
is our little guard in the back there. And who's that? That one looks strangely concerned. Metra says steam locomotives are stronger than diesel. For some things, yes. I did read the other day someone who was nonsensically saying that uh, diesels can develop a lot more low-down torque than steam engines. Kind of the other way around, but anyway. Steam engines have amazing torque, but not a lot of power. Diesels are the other way around. They have a, well, they actually have a lot of torque, but they have a lot of power. And they're more constant throughout their power range, whereas steam engines are a bit slow. They're almost at the right point. Now I better get back in the cab for this or I'll mess it up. pay attention to my brake gauges. Stefan's been making new couple of models to update the entire fleet. That's excellent. And it tells me the arrow lights are on, which means you can go past. It was off you'd spad. Steve G1927, hello to you too. Are you very old or do you just like the 1927 time? And yes, I'm leaving my lubricator on. Now I head back into Springfield Yard Road 2 and couple the carriages into the train that's waiting there. Now I think this already sets all the points for me, but I just want to have a look. Springfield Yard 2s are all the way down there. And would it surprise you at all to know that quite often I just smack these. It's Get back in here. There we go. Didn't overcharge it. Close, but didn't. I have uh, often just beat this into the back of the train. So excuse me if I go a little bit more carefully than I usually do. Stefan is the developer of this route and these trains and the locomotive, if you're wondering. So it's uh, always a pleasure to have the developer on stream. And you timed it well, Stefan. As usual, I think you use the force. Because you always seem to know when the KB's out. And yes, Metra, we will do some American stuff. Rolleston Rails is looking for a book on the G-Class. Which G-Class do you want? The Victorian one or was there a New Zealand one? I know shunting isn't for everyone, but to be honest, I actually enjoy this more than I do doing mainline runs. I quite like shunting, but I know it doesn't stream that well. The New Zealand G-Class, okay. I was going to say, there's quite a few books on our garrets already. Let's just use the loco brake to start slowing this down. Loco brake's going to stop it completely because the KB's so heavy. That's all right. Chuff chuff indeed, NJTE. Welcome. Are you trying to hook up with people again, Metro? G's converted from Garrett's to 462s. That would be interesting. That's our frame rate. Oh, that's not bad at all. Pro 
pay for bonkage. And we have bonkage. Just try and couple these together if they just these don't. Uh, sorry. Do I have to pull it back again? Wait. Where are you going? Where are you going? What's going on? Uh, I don't know what was going on there. It's lost control, Captain. Completely lost control. Can I click them? Or am I going to have to pull them apart and push them together again? Let's just try pushing them together a little bit. Oh, they're definitely together. All right, let's try pulling it apart. Too quick. <laughs> Come on back, you. Come on, couple. Couple, you monster. Oh no. Couple. Oh no. Sigh. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. What's going on, Stefan? What kind of couple or anything? Why aren't they happy today? And why is my... What is going on here? Is there something stuck under one of my keys? I don't know what's going on. Train sim's gone mad. It's like one of my arrow keys is stuck down. Maybe it was. I think there's something under them. Hang on a tick. Let's try that. Hmm, maybe that was what the problem was. Alright, let's come back up here. Not that one, is it? It's this one. Okay. I'm sad. Don't want a couple. Oi! What is going on there? One more try. And if that doesn't work, we're going to run away from New Zealand for a while. Or we'll just try something else. <sighs> it should work fine. How could it not work? Alright, we're just going to push it out of the yard. Can I couple it now? No. Now it'll probably just break apart. Oops, wrong key. Well, what's going on? It's just going completely nuts for me now. It's all going nutty. One last try, and we're going to play something else. Come on, you. No, not going to do it. All right. Something different. All right, we'll still stick with Midland. We'll still stick with the KB. We'll just do something different. Uh, winter worries. All right, then. Yeah, yay TS, you're right. <sighs> Train simulator? Classic. It does hate me today. You're absolutely right. Uh, 
What have we got? We've got a lot of carriages. We're at the place that used to give us the horrendous frame rate. What have we got today? It's a bit hard to tell because it's... Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I quite like that. Anyway, we're on the KB in winter. And Rollister's screaming out, Booster, booster, booster. I can hear him screaming at his screen. If you want to know how likely that really is to happen... For rail driver mode. Get into running. Brakes are coming off. Looking promising up there. We've got lots of steam. We should be running in automatic fireman. Looking promising. Lubricators on. Brakes are nearly ready. This doesn't look at all like Craigie Burn in Melbourne. Craigie Burn in Melbourne, if you stood still for this long, someone would have killed you. It's struggling a little bit because the brakes are still pumping up. But this just looks kind of funny, so just let it go. Maybe a bit of sand. I'm trying to go backwards now. Once the brakes bump up, it'll be fine. Still got some airflow going on down to the back there. That looks like there's still there's no loco brake on. No loco brake off. Where am I sitting on those? I'm sitting on running there. Just try and charge it a bit. Let's see what that does. There we go. Bloody rail driver. <coughs> Those cocks open for a little while. There's Stefan hanging out the window there. Stefan says the KB is similar to the KA. KA is an oil burner, isn't it? Slippy to going on there. Let's give some more sand. That's pretty white. Mind you, I'm trying to take off with only 42 of the reverser as well. That's not going to help. There we go, finally underway. The happy little KB. And it might be a gentle uphill for now. That won't last forever. I don't think I've actually run this since the update. It's living dangerously, isn't it? Happy though. 
for those who don't know, I went on holidays for a few days, and when I came back, I started up Steam yesterday for the first time, and it updated Transim Classic, and I went, oh no. And then OBS updated, and I went, oh no. And then Caden updated, and I went, oh no. All the things I need for my stream have all just updated themselves. cruise out in the New Zealand wilderness. I saw some cheap flights to Queenstown yesterday. I was sorely tempted. Couldn't find any cheap accommodation to go with it, so we didn't do it. up on the regulator, I want to go down. Maybe it's just too powerful, Captain. It's too powerful to this tiny little train. Pay attention to your track. You're slowing down too much. That's just like I can make it sound awesome, like this. So I got a nose step, and is that you hanging out at a loco? Oh, that will you reckon? Let's go. Aha! There you go. You're right, young man. I, thought, I knew it was L. I tried L. L didn't do anything. Mind you, one thing that's always a little bit dangerous on pro content is most of them are controlled by the alphabet. So if you press a key to do something, somewhere, to something, may not be something that you desire it to do. Be a little bit there. Dullness. Almost over the top. 
Rolleston Rail says Mainline Steve need to hurry up with the KB968. I want to see that thing in action. That'd be worth a trip to New Zealand to come and watch that thing. It'd be even better to come and play with it. I'm glad your ejectors don't do much when the AI environment's on. Because on quite a lot of the locos, when you have the AI fireman on, the injectors and things do do stuff, but they just confuse the AI fireman. Just visibly gone over the top. Metro is googling again. If you want someone to make the North Island Trunk Line Metro, you would have to promise Stefan that you were going to buy it. And then he might think about it. Because the man who makes the New Zealand content's in this chat to say it. And one of the people who tests it, actually two of the people who tested are in this chat, me and Rolleston. Yes, I know, I'm going too fast. Uh, better crank up my lube or cater. Where am I looking? No, uh, the other way. I should slow down for these corners or um, step in vindictive trains when we're packing. Did I just turn those lubricators off, maybe? Oh god, I did. I went the wrong way. I turned them all off. I meant to turn them up. That's better. That's no, still too much. No, that's alright, I'm going to slow down anyway. Because if I don't start slowing down, we're going to be on our side. Yeah, that's starting to slow me down. That should be enough. Just leave that bite on by itself. You'll be right, mate. It's all good. It's not going to be a problem. It's not as though there's sharp turns coming into Cass or anything. There you go, Metra. Get Stefan a lot of money with with asterisks, and he'll make it for you. matter of break, release, break, release, break, release. Rolleston would like to see the Kingston line between Lumsden to Kingston. And this to Palmerston North to Hamilton. If I give it the beans right now, Rolleston Rails, it's just going to take off. heading down the 1 in 70 anyway, so I will have to give it some more brakes very shortly. But I also have to get it long enough to charge up the train, which it probably has by now. Let's give it a little bit of brake. Try 10 pounds and see how we go with that. Ah! 
I thought I fixed that, Mr. Stafford. Clearly not. Oh well, we're just going to ignore this and we're going to keep driving. Because as long as I don't actually close. Oh no, we're stuck. <laughs> I thought I fixed the lubricator. Hello, Harry Shift Gear. How are you? We're totally out of control, I'm afraid. I've seized the loco. You definitely can script the brake to be less effective in the snow. Because I think Smokebox does that. Yeah. Wow, says Alistair. Yeah. And we're just sliding along. I was sure I cranked the lubricators up though. I thought I got them high enough, but uh, clearly I did not which was a little bit shit of me. And unfortunately you can't fix this. So we're just going to follow this till it stops. And stop it will. That's a definite. The only question is, are we going to make it to Cass? Actually, I've got brakes on as well. I have. Let's release the brakes. Running. Running, not lap, running. Uh, sometimes it doesn't like the motor either. I think it is actually in running. Can we slide all the way to Cass? That's the question. We are speeding up again. Even with our driving wheels seized up. I wish I could move this box, but I can't. I don't think I can even close it. We're going to slide into Cass. We're going to get to Cass. I'm determined. <laughs> Could I attempt to pronounce that New Zealand place name? Mark B would like the line between Wellington and Pei Kak Ka Niki, maybe? in steam days before any of the straightening of the line. Ah, this was probably me, Steph, and I cranked them up, but I probably didn't crank them up enough. Oh no, the points. Did I set the points or are we going to have a head-on? Oh well, we'll find out in a minute. Nah, we're missing it. It's all good. You know, if this was Train Sim World, I'd just pretend nothing happened. I'd go and take that other train and nick off with it. <laughs> you can't do that in Train Sim Classic. <laughs> what we can do is we'll come and sit up here and we'll watch the other one move. There you go. We got to Cass at least. There he goes. He's just leaving through the red signal. Off he goes. Not a care in the world. Hasn't even set the points for himself, probably. Just gonna leave. Bye. Have fun out there. Spad. Yes, yeah, the scenario is still running. After we've watched this one leave, we'll do something else. You made it over the saddle from Craig Even to Crest. Now it's time to unhook from your train and turn the engine. Oh, am I going to get away with this? No, I'm not, because the other message came back. Oh, well. And look at that. I even stopped in the right place. Look at this. I even managed to stop in the right place so you can actually do what you need to do. Ah, <sighs> sorry. Anyway, all good. We're all excited, aren't we? <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, what now? What are we going to do now? I think maybe... Why don't we go somewhere a little bit different? 
Ah, there's a clue of what was happening with my arrow keys. Let's get into something big. Says he kicking the uh, steering wheel under his desk. Oh well. You know what I'm amazed at? This is the third run on TSC and it hasn't actually crashed yet. Reading all those horrible messages. We have a challenger labelled for Clinchfield, number 675. With a bell, and tucked in behind it, there's a little tiny diesel, which helps you quite a lot. Ah, oh, there's so many controls on this thing. Now this one I've got to be super careful to break for this. No, not first service, running. It really doesn't like rail driver this one. No, not released, running. Just stay in running, that's what I want. Looking vaguely useful. Why are you going backwards? Don't go backwards, go forwards. The weight of the coals got it. Come on, forwards. You can do it. You're going to slip like crazy if I stay on 50%. Though. Oh, that's a lot. Actually, this is probably just struggling because the cylinder cocks are open. Yeah, there it goes. It's enough dinging. Give it the beans, says Rolleston Rails. You do like that, don't you? That took what I want to hear. There we go. I do think the challenge is actually still struggling a little bit post update. Because both the challenger and um, Big Boy struggle to move at all when their cylinder cocks are open. It's like they're not building up any pressure at all in the steam chest, the cylinder cocks are too big. forgot about that. <laughs> You're not meant to go past that till the other trade comes. <laughs> oh, what a donkey. Alright. Let's do it properly this time. Stop your pipe down to zero. Now, are you happy now? Good. I should just stop trying to use the rail driver for the brakes. I really should. Alright, well, just stay in running. Stay there. You'll be happy. Take off with the cocks closed and see what happens. My engine breaks off because we've built up enough pressure in the steam chest to not roll backwards this time. Come on. Off you go. Why aren't you wanting to go? Your brakes are off. They didn't look happy. They're not moving. More beans. More beans. You're not happy. More beans. 
it's going to explode in a minute. So what's going on with you? Why aren't we getting any cuffs at all? I'm just going to ignore your brake pipe overcharge message. Because it's not. Ah, there we go. Movement. We have zero throttle and it's now powering. Clearly, the Challenger is not happy post update. Clearly. He reckons she's hydro locked. Well, I didn't open the cocks deliberately because um, it wasn't going to move, but we don't want to move too fast now anyway. We can open them now. One thing I have seen happen on our NAs is occasionally they get into a situation where they're um, not happy and they will not move. Keeping us moving and uh, running that red up there. It should be clearing about now, so we can power up, I think. Green, yay! Alright then. This time for sure, Ali. Start using some expansion on the steam. Speeding? What? No, you don't need to stand off the side. I wouldn't speed, that would be naughty. ever actually have challenges? Interesting question. And I'm still not speeding on it. If I just turn that off, no one will know then. That would just totally ruin your day if you lived in this town. So I don't know if you've heard these things, but they're pretty loud. It's really a rail thing. Our coal special. Hello, Monty Burns Gaming. How are you? I think I lost most of my rail fans when I uh, demonstrated my extreme prowess on the KV. I lost half my people. Oh well. 
made some large flange wheel because I'm probably going double the speed limit. But I turned off the HUD so no one would know my be doing so. We just want to cruise through the forest and have a peaceful day. Guess what? I love white. Today is a special day. I don't care. I'm going to drive trains. I want to drive trains and I want TS Classic to not crash. Is that too much to ask? And my volume being messed up again. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, yeah. <sighs> look! 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 I found the locomotive where refractive glasses actually work properly. Yay! Oh, we appear to be driving. Why are we driving? Ah, oh, that's because the rail driver made it drive. Okay. I'm sure we were probably supposed to load passengers there, but, you know, stop it. Tiny little 060 locomotive and all those carriages. Is this going to work? <laughs> ah, sigh, sigh. It is just one of those days, isn't it? What time is it? It's only 10 o'clock. Wow. How many crashes have we had in this time? <laughs> uh, Clearly, Train Sim Classics turned into a little bit of crap at the moment. <laughs> Let's put the HUD back on so I can see what I'm doing, I guess. Start slowing down for the Esplanade. I think this thing's got vacuum brakes from memory. I am having a day today. It's quite special. Quite a special day. In this version of the Isle of Wight, this platform is still open. Here comes the little electric train. With the 1938 wooden stuff. Don't know how good this thing's brakes are. Find out. Yeah, not very. Maybe I should have started braking a while ago. Well, let's give it all the brakes. And maybe we'll stop. More Aston class. Excellent. I'll pretend that I perfectly planned that. 
See, my trouble is I turned on the lights in the Challenger and that just made it explode. <laughs> uh, Stefan says he hopes they can fix lofts not reflecting in water with TS updates at some point. I asked someone about that and they said it would be really hard. And that seems to be code for no. <laughs> If we're not on a slope, it should be relatively safe to release the brakes. We have the right of way from the Guard. Make our way off on the Isle of Wight. Where's my beard? I've lost my beard! head down the hill into the tunnel where naturally we'll open the firebox I'd turn on the headlight for this but I don't think it's got one I've got a lantern can I turn that on? Yeah, I've got a lantern very good, so we'll be able to see in the cab when we go through the hole. It's kind of useful to be able to see that. Why is it... I think this thing's got vacuum brakes, but that looks like a... Uh, a Westinghouse brake gauge. Maybe it doesn't have vacuum brakes. Maybe it's got Westinghouse brakes. That doesn't look... That, that looks like a... No, that's a vacuum brake gauge. Hmm. What's going on there? Got a Westinghouse brake gauge and a vacuum brake handle. I'll just pretend to be not confused and it will all be okay. You're correct, Monty Burns Gaming. They have replaced the 1938 tube stock with 1970 tube stock. Although these days it's um, newer than that, isn't it? That's a lot of steam for a little tiny locomotive. Must be a cold day. struggling with this many carriages even on this tiny hill <laughs> almost at rights and charge Monty Burns wonders how this would manage on the Licky Incline. By itself? Fine. With carriages? Mm, probably badly. You know, I have to know, what does that brake gauge say now? Nothing useful. Beep beep to you too. Nothing in the sheds. It might be a straight air brake, you know. It's possible. Let's try. No, it's lapped. Oh, that's weird, that is. 
I'm not even sure what that gauge is trying to tell me. Come on, little terrier, you can do it. Bark like the angry little dog that you are. No, that's it, we're going to the future now. We've got 88. And off we go. Monty asks, do you like steam, electric or diesel best? I like steam because I actually operate steam in real life. It does look remarkably like a Westinghouse compressor. Single stage, single actions. So yes, it's a strange place to put it though. Imagine being a fireman putting up with that all day. Please, please. But anyway, that's okay. We'll enjoy our little terrier trying to climb the hill. He's tiny little living, tiny little everything. And back to Monty's question, I kind of like commuter passenger most of all. So uh, anything that runs in that. He's nestled calmly into first class. You can tell he belongs in first class because he's got an act. Yeah, I think it is weird air with a weird valve on it. I wonder if it's right or if it's just silly. I mean, the rest of it's modelled so nicely, I'd be surprised if it wasn't actually physically right. It just seems strange. These carriages are very fat. They're like Aaron ALs. Point set here, it should be. No, we're going straight. Okay. Well clearly we're not going onto the steam line then. We're staying on the commuter line. The gauge is just trying to tell me brake pipe pressure. So we're going on the main railway. I was expecting to go up onto the steam railway, but that's okay. That's fine. Back into mid gear for the stop. Yeah, it is a strange arrangement, but you know, whatever. Whatever. It's all good. So anybody looking forward to Glossop Line coming out on Tuesday? I will be streaming it live on Monday, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Certainly sounds like a Westinghouse compressor, doesn't it? And it's even steaming. Oh, I like that. It's got an emitter. Oh, my cylinder clock's working. Oh, 
think maybe I can. I'm amazed at these couplers English use. I wonder how often they just snap. Everybody else uses these massive meaty knuckles. And in Europe they just use these little things. Regulator is on the roof. What's that doing to my steam pressure? Nothing good. No, oh, no, it's keeping up. Yeah, it's not going down. Fireman's keeping up with my maniacal steam demands. Guard's van. Hate to tell them, but they're on the wrong train. The one's going to Hailing Island. Still trying to climb this little hill, this little tiny steam engine. Steam twice, almost twice as fast as it can make it. But it's reporting the brake pipe pressure in inches of mercury, which is weird. I wonder if it's got some kind of hybrid. Hmm. All good. not going to be the fastest trip to braiding, that's for sure. That's probably why we're only going to Sandown. Imagine being the rail operator's dispatcher. You guys have to maintain line speed or I'm going to kick you off. Yeah, no problem, mate. We'll maintain line speed. Coming into a downhill bit soon, that should help. But it is a weird little beastie. Most definitely is. Uh, no, victory works, I think, from memory. Pretty sure the Terriers are victory works. So they've published it, it's just not, uh... But let me get you a link to it if you want. They're on Steam. Pop a link in the chat. There we go. And they are, yeah, it's Victory Works. Dovetail published it. Down bubble. We'll let it make up some time now with a little spirited running. Is it a real logo? No, oh yeah, Break and Signal Company Limited. Maybe they don't exist anymore. They could be made up logos. I 
might not be real ones. The question is, do I even try again? And I can't run the other game till tomorrow. Because I'm not quite running the public version. So I can... swapping to the public one would take me about half an hour. So I definitely won't do that because no one's going to want to sit here and watch nothing for half an hour. Do we try again? Hmm. It's a good question. I should point out this is a really reliable PC and it simply does not blue screen of death, so this probably is something wrong with this latest build of TSC, which is a bit sad. So I shall report that to the appropriate people and uh, we'll see what happens. Do we even try? Has anybody got a root request? <laughs> I should go to Chatham and tell Dovetail about it. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I've even run the chat in mainline late for a long time hmm hmm Do I dare try and run? Hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's do some diesel. the triangle to rescue it immediately depart via a tour east back shunt one you need only reverse as far as the first shunt indicator and then on to the north main reversing into the triangle this is too many words Stefan too many words I've got to remember how to drive this thing now I haven't touched this for a long 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 time so where does it want me to go I'm there where am I going? Down there. And points look like they're all set for me, don't they? Where about that one? Now it is. No, no rail driver. I got to start it. We'll be doing this all with keyboard. Or moose. Do we have to cut in? Is it cut out or cut in? On reverse. I'm guessing that's cut out. Break pipe main rail. The brakes aren't released. 
So there must be a independent break around here somewhere, surely? Oh well, let's turn some stuff on. Is that turning it on or turning it off? Ground lights. Gauge lights. Ooh, that turn them on or turn them off? On. Okay, good. What's this thing? Cab heater. Ah. Independent brake is off. I think some amps. Oh, so it's not a running in a release position, it's just a release slash run. Okay. Good O. I figured it out. It's quite a unique little diesel, this one. It's got a lot of wheels. It's kind of cute. And it sounds like a Caterpillar power plant. Welcome back to New Zealand, the other end with uh, sparky wires. No, electric duck, that'd be perfect. Get the thing by doing the thing. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Must be an Elko. <laughs> and it's warning me the battery's draining and it's lying on its side. <laughs> hey, look, it derailed something else too. Look over there. Everything derailed. I don't think that was me. Because everything in the yard just derailed. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Let's try again. But all of those electric engines that were sitting in the other siding were derailed as well. I think something's sadly wrong with this game. I really do think that. Maybe it was an earthquake. I mean, it is New Zealand. They do get quite big ones. Alright, let's just check these points. So we're going down there. So we want that point set there. Yeah, it's definitely that one. Oh, actually, that one's set against us. Hmm. Well, you know what we're going to try and do? Release. You're released. I'm just going to sit up here because I want to see if the whole yard derails. Or if it's just my train. Because those locos down there definitely derailed. Tomorrow night, 7pm for uh, Glossop Line, Manchester, Headfield and Glossop with the class 323 and all of its layers and other bits and pieces. And I hope I get to run a little better this time. Hmm. I might just do a little bit of a private...
If you're watching, this is just a test. I'm trying to see if I've resolved the uh, crashing issue or not. So, don't expect too much in the way of entertainment. <laughs> 